where can I get SPSS? Where can I get SPSS for free? Now, I'm going to answer all of those questions for you. I'm going to show you where to go to get SPSS, what to do, how to choose the version that is right for you. I'm going to tell you what to expect, and then I'm going to walk you through a full download and example installation. So here is what I want you to do. Go to onthehub.com. On the Hub is an academic software website. You can get full versions of commercial software, including IBM SPSS statistics, at a deep discount, provided that you have academic credentials. So you need to be a student, faculty, staff at an academic institution. But if you have an email address ending in .edu, then you, my friend, are golden. Homeschool students can also apply, but you may need to jump through some extra hoops to prove that you're qualified. Now, I would suggest you look around the website, see what other software is available. But if you are here for SPSS, then type SPSS into the search bar and hit return. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is that On the Hub has a lot of SPSS. So how are you going to choose which one is the right one for you? They have versions going back to 26. The most current version is 31. So quick answer, get the newest version, provided that it will work on your machine. Now, if you are a student, then you are going to want a version that says Grad Pack. If you're faculty, then there's another version, especially for you. You will also notice that there are versions of IBM SPSS Amos. Amos is a structural equation modeling program that is also included with some versions of SPSS, or you can buy it separately. But unless you are taking an advanced statistics class or one specifically about SEM, you will not need Amos. We are going to get the most current version of SPSS. Scroll down until you find version 31. Click on that. Now you have some other choices to make. Number one, do you need only a basic version of SPSS or do you need something more advanced? And B, do you need a six month or a 12 month license? All of these are subscriptions. All of them are time limited. You will need to renew your subscription each year. Now here's a choice that you will not need to make. Notice that all of these are for both Mac or Windows. You will get one download link and you will install the version that is right for your machine. Let's figure this out. Do you need a six month or a 12 month license? If you are enrolling in a one semester statistics course and you don't plan on taking any additional statistics courses, then the six month license it's going to be perfect for you. If maybe you're worried about passing statistics and think that you might need to retake it next semester, well, then maybe you want that 12 month license. If you are going to be taking an advanced statistics course next semester, you might want that 12 month license. And if you are a graduate student or working on a longer term project, then you will definitely want the 12 month license. Now, in my experience, even after your subscription expires, you can usually squeeze out another 30 days before SPSS quits working entirely, but don't count on that. Now, what about the features? To determine which level, base, standard, or premium is the best one for you, we can look at the features that are offered. The Grad Pack base for students is what I would recommend for anyone in an introductory statistics class. The base grad pack is going to have all of the basic data management, descriptive statistics, and analyses that you would need for intro to stats. It even includes bootstrapping, in case you want to bootstrap. For most undergraduate students, base SPSS is exactly what you are going to need. Now, on the other hand, if you are in an advanced statistics class, or STATS 2, then you would want the standard version. It includes more advanced analyses 
and regression, which is something that you will be doing in an intermediate or advanced stats class. Now, as I understand it, base SPSS will do correlation and simple linear regression with two variables. The SPSS standard builds on the base addition, adding more features so you can do more complex regression analyses as well as custom tables in case you want to customize your tables. Grad Pack Premium I would recommend for graduate students as it has features that you simply will not use in most undergraduate statistics courses. If you're working on your master's, your PhD, this is probably the version that you want. If you are enrolled in an advanced data science course or predictive modeling, you want SPSS Premium. And if you're taking a structural equation modeling class, SPSS Premium also includes a subscription to Amos. However, Amos only works on Windows machines, not on Mac. Now, as far as the system requirements, you can see what will work with your computer. If you want to run SPSS 31, you're going to need either Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you are using Mac, you can install a Mac OS version 10.15, which is Catalina, up to the most current version, Mac OS 15, which is Sequoia. So honestly, if you have a computer that is newer than 2019, you can probably use SPSS version 31. If you have an older computer, you can purchase an older version of SPSS through On The Hub. Check the older versions to see which is the newest one that will work on whatever operating system that you have. And speaking of Mac, there is one more thing. I have mentioned this before, but I'm going to tell you again. The OnTheHub.com website requires that you be a student or have academic credentials to qualify for purchasing academic software. If your email ends in .edu, this is going to be a breeze. But if not, you can still begin the purchase, but you may need to email them additional proof that you qualify. Now let's walk through the download and the installation. You are an undergraduate statistics student. We are going to choose the six month rental for the SPSS base grad pack. You can see the cost will be $37.90. The premium grad pack would be just under $100 for the year. Click on add to cart. Now I mentioned that the software is at a deep discount. So, how much are you saving? Let me show you the IBM website where you can also purchase SPSS. The base SPSS is $99. So, you're getting a little bit of a discount. Except for one thing. $99 is the monthly subscription price, not six months. And if you want to buy the program outright, the base is going to start around $4,000. This is why I am telling you to use on the hub. You are going to save a bundle. At this point, you have picked out your SPSS. Click on View Cart. And now you have another decision to make. For $5.95, you can purchase extended access to your software download and software keys. What is this? And do you need it? When you purchase SPSS, you will receive a link to download the software, and you will receive another email with your software key. If you ever need to reinstall SPSS or switch to a different computer, you can return to the On The Hub website, log into your account, and access your order history. So from there, you can re-download the installer and reuse the license key, provided that your license is still valid. However, the software comes with a 30-day basic access guarantee. After that, you will no longer have access to the links. Extended access 
gives you two additional years to access the link and the software keys. So if you're certain that you are going to install the software right away, and especially if this is a six month rental for a class only this semester, you may feel comfortable opting out of this option. On the other hand, I have always paid for this option and I've used it several times. I would recommend getting it. Now I am not signed in, so it's asking me to verify my eligibility as a student or faculty. And this is what you are likely to encounter the first time that you purchase software from On The Hub. This is where you would enter your school email address and some additional information about your school so they can make sure that you qualify. If you are a homeschool student, click on the link saying that you do not have a recognized school issued email address. Because I already have an account, if I enter my email address, it will have me log in to my On The Hub account. When you purchase software, you will receive an email verifying your purchase and containing the links and the software keys that you need. But you can also find previous purchases in your account. So for instance, these are software packages that I purchased recently. And if you look closely, you might discover something unusual about my account. And that is the total price for my SPSS is zero dollars. Now that low, low price is because onthehub.com is sponsoring this video. They provided me with a free copy of the software so that I can demonstrate its use for you. So I want to thank them for the support and I want to encourage you to use onthehub.com not only for SPSS but for any other academic software that you might need. Find your software purchase and click on view details. There is my link to download the software and behind that blur is the activation code. You can't see that. But you can see that I still need to add my extended access. Now when I click on the download button, you can see that I have options for Windows and for Mac. I'm going to start downloading for Mac. And you will see that I have a download link for Amos, which you would only have if you had purchased premium or a faculty pack. Once the download is complete, double click to open it and run the installer. Now, because I have a relatively new Mac with an M4 chip, I need to install Rosetta in order for SPSS to run. You may or may not see this warning, but if you do, simply click install. There should not be any additional software required to run SPSS if you're using Windows. So back to the installer. Regardless of Mac or Windows, if you have an older version of SPSS already installed on your computer, installing this newer version will overwrite it. Click Continue. Now, of course, this installation is going to look different if you're using Windows, but even then it will look exactly like every other installation you've ever done on your Windows machine. Once the installation process is finished, in your application folder, you will find an IBM SPSS statistics folder with the software. Double click to open it for the first time. And now you must activate the software. So from here on out, the steps for the installation will look the same. So refer to this regardless of whether you are using Mac or Windows. You have purchased a license key from on the hub. So you want to launch the license wizard. For the product authorization, you have purchased a single copy of the product and you have an authorization code. Now, if your university provides you with a copy of SPSS, then you would use the concurrent user license. Click Next. And here is where you would enter your activation code. So where do you get that activation code? It's going to be in an email that you received from on the hub, or you can find it in your on the hub account. In your past orders, you will see the activation code. Select it and copy it. Go back to the installation wizard and paste it into this window. Click add. You probably already know this, but 
You must be connected to the internet for this activation to work. You can use the software when you are not connected to the internet, but this first step does require an internet connection. So click on next, wait for a moment, and you will see the green license code. If you do, you're all set. If you see a red code, then you did something wrong. For example, maybe you copied the Amos activation code and entered it in SPSS, which is how I got this error. Now, if you encounter any issues during installation or activation, there is a help section on the On The Hub website with frequently asked questions, and there's also an option to send an email but you're probably not going to need this. It's just nice to know that it's there. Click Next. Here is a list of everything that got installed. And then click Finish. And now you are ready to fire up SPSS for the first time and get started. Now, obviously, if this is your first experience with SPSS, then you are going to have a lot of questions about how you use the software. And I have great news about that. I have a lot of answers. So please, keep checking the Research by Design channel. I will have a new video series about how to use SPSS 31 for basic and advanced statistics. Now, earlier, I promised you that I would show you how you can get SPSS for free. There is a free version of SPSS that is available, and we're going to get it through the IBM website. But at the top of the page, you will find a link to try it for free. You will need to create an IBM ID or an IBM account and enter your contact information. And then you will be able to download a working version of SPSS to try. Now the catch is that this version of SPSS only works for 14 days and you can only download one copy per year. So this is probably not going to be a solution if you are taking a semester long statistics course. But that my friends is how you can get your very own copy of IBM SPSS statistics for your statistics course. Thank you again to the folks at onthehub.com for sponsoring this video. And I hope that you give their website a look next time that you need software. I look forward to seeing you in future videos using SPSS 31 and showing you how to do statistics with this powerful program.